Yeah, okay, okay. Keep your suggestions to yourself, Mateo. Yes, Leo, I know what to do. Can you two get out of here, please? God, man, those two are a couple of vultures. Ah, <sighs> that was exhausting. Glad I don't have to do that again. I feel like I want to sleep for a hundred years. Honey, why are you standing over there all alone? Come sit on the bed with me. God, why did it have to be so hot today? That blazer was killing me the whole time. Why are you, why are you looking at me like that? Don't we have to do what? No, no, honey. I know it's my family's tradition to consummate the marriage the night of the wedding. But you obviously don't want to do it. You're, you're scared, and I'm not going to force you to do anything you don't want to. Yeah, of course I mean that. Why? Because when I make love to you, whenever that is, I want you to squirm under me with pleasure and not cry out in pain. Now, go get changed in the bathroom. It's late and we gotta get to bed. <sighs> Again, I'm not gonna do anything you don't want me to do. But when our relatives ask about what happened tonight, you're gonna have to lie. Of course they're gonna want details. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna get swamped by every woman in the family. Oh, how was your magical night? I remember when me and my Reginald got married. Oh, it was simply amazing. You know how it is, so just give them what they want. As my wife, you have, uh responsibilities now. Soon, I'll take my father's position in the Mafia. That puts you in a big position as well. I know your father's been training you for this since you were born. I expect nothing less from the head of the New York Mafia. But this is Italy. Things are different here. A lot more brutal. A lot more inhumane. I have some business to attend to tomorrow. But after that, how about we go out to dinner, yeah? Sounds good. Now, let's try and get some sleep. <sighs> Morning, honey. I hate to rush you as soon as you wake up, but everyone's already waiting for us downstairs. I'll meet you down there, okay? And don't forget to make up a believable story about last night. Thank you so much for attending the wedding, Mr. and Mrs. Vitiello. We'll visit you next week, just like we planned. Have a safe journey, you two. Ah, oh, finally. That should be the last of the guests. Bruno, how long before the meeting? An hour? All right, grab the car and park it at the front gate. I'll be there in ten minutes. God, I can't get one minute to myself anymore, I tell you. Oh, hey, honey. What have you been up to? <laughs> well, did they believe your story? Good, very good. You're really learning fast. I have to go to a meeting now, but I'll meet back up with you tonight. We're going to dinner at my favorite restaurant, so wear something nice. Bye-bye now. Oh, dickhead. Don't you be honking at me. 
I told you to give me ten minutes. I pay your goddamn salary. You got the balls to be honking at me? I swear to God. Hey, honey, I was just knocking to make sure you were decent. Yeah, the meeting dragged on for a little bit, but I'm here now. I gotta say, honey, you look amazing in that dress. I'm gonna love showing you off to everyone. <sighs> you know, if we want this marriage to work, we have to communicate with each other. This whole thing will fall apart if you keep being so quiet. You have to trust me when I tell you I won't hurt you. You need to stop being so scared of me. Do you think you can do that? Thank you. Now, come on. We don't want to miss a reservation. This place is probably the finest restaurant I own. The food here is simply... Mwah. Bonjour, monsieur. What would you like to order? I'll have the ratatouille. And for the lady? Very well. It will be out shortly. Hmm? The waiter's hands were shaking. Well, that's because he owes us money. Looks like my enforcer Mario did a good job on him. What if someone can't pay? Well, we either make them pay by selling their organs or making them work for us. And trust me, most people have chosen death over working for us. They know it's no piece of cake. Seems like you're getting used to this kind of talk. That's good. I know you're used to your father's ways in the New York Mafia. But here in Italy, we tend to get our hands a little more bloody. This will all get easier for you once we get a little closer. I promise. It'll take time, but... I'm willing to work at it. This is what you meant by seeing the good in me? This does not count as good. I'm just taking care of you. Just like I take care of my men and my family. There is no good left in me, honey. I'm beyond redemption. <laughs> 